Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Eddie G, with another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy method to produce a text effect called the long shadow that's going to have your final document look just like this. Okay guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy method to produce a really cool drop shadow text effect called the long shadow in Adobe Photoshop. So first we need to start with a new document. So I've created one that's 1920 by 1080. And if you watched any of my previous tutorials, you know that I just like to work in the standard high definition format. So the first thing I wanna do is give my background a color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Control A to select my background, come up here to edit and fill, use my foreground color, which is a nice blue, which is going to give you the ability to see what we're doing a little bit better. So since we are talking about a text effect, let's go ahead and grab our text tool and I'm just gonna type out the word long shadow. Now I'm gonna grab my transform tool and make this just a little bit bigger. And we're gonna go ahead and center this in the document. So I've got my text long shadow, but what I wanna do now is come over here and right click on my original long shadow layer and duplicate the layer. So what I'm gonna do is take the long shadow copy layer and drag it under my original layer. Now I'm gonna turn off the top layer and I'm gonna double click on the copy layer so I can select it all and I'm gonna turn that black. Now the reason I turned that black is this in essence is actually going to be the long drop shadow of my original white text layer. So how are we gonna make this long shadow very quickly and very easily? Well, first, to give us a little bit more room to work with the long shadow, I'm gonna grab my transform tool again, and I'm gonna rotate this to 45 degrees. Once that I have it at 45 degrees, I'm gonna come over here and select my layer again. Then on my keyboard, I'm gonna hold down the Alt and the down arrow key. Now, what that's gonna do for you is it's gonna duplicate this layer very quickly, and it's also going to move each copy down one pixel. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this layer about 150 times using the Alt and down arrow key on my keyboard. Once I have about 150 layer copies, you can actually see now this is a really, really thick and you can almost barely read it, but that's gonna change soon. So how are we gonna work with all 153 of these layers? So I have my top layer selected. Now I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom to my original long shadow layer. I'm gonna shift click on it, and then I'm gonna hit Control E on my keyboard. That's gonna merge all those layers into one. Now you can see all 153 copies of this layer have been merged into one layer. Now I'm gonna grab my transform tool again, and I'm going to bring this back to zero degrees or level. Now all that's left to do is to turn back on the original long shadow white layer. Make sure you're clicked on that layer. Align it with the drop shadow. Shift click on both layers to align it back in the center of the document. And now you can see this is a quick and easy method to create long shadow on any text or object in Adobe Photoshop.